What's up? Welcome to tubrepairstore.com. Today we're going to be installing a large wall repair kit. If you have any questions, comment below or give us a call. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Hopefully we can save you a ton of money. Alright, so today we're working with a bubble in the gel coat of a fiberglass tub. Now you see how it just kind of chips away here. So what I'm doing is I'm really just getting the surface prepared, okay? So you always want to prepare the surface before you begin, begin making the repair. So what I'm doing here is I'm just breaking away any loose gel coat. Uh, it's really just kind of like an eggshell. So you want to break it away. You don't want to repair over it for it to break again. You want to fill in that whole bubble. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going around the edge, really just try breaking away anything that's loose right there. And then I'm going to fill it in. Now our tub repair kits come with all the products that you need aside from that putty scraper, which you, you won't, it won't be included, but, uh, everything else in this video, as far as the materials, um, and the supplies that that you see will be included so the first thing is this glass putty um, it's a, a fiberglass body filler that is very durable and what we're going to do with it is we're just going to fill in this hole um, and this doesn't have to be perfectly smooth so you'll notice our glass putty uh, it's designed more for uh, durability and not as much for cosmetic finish uh, so that's all we're doing here is we're really just trying to fill in that hole and give it a firm support so with this glass putty basically the ratio that it calls for is one part hardener to 50 parts putty now Good luck trying to measure that out. I compare it to about the size of a baseball to a size of a marble. Um, it's not an exact science, but just go back and watch um, what ratio we used here. Um, in your kits, you will have a tube of hardener that will be enough to harden both your glass putty and your finished putty. So. Um, use it in about the ratio you have it um, and just keep in mind about the baseball size uh, putty to a marble size hardener uh, will get it done so um, after you stir it in just be sure to stir it in and mix it up real well you don't want any blue streaks or anything like that you want it to be one consistent color after you uh, get it stirred in stir it around fold it over like we do in the video um, and then you have about you know roughly about three minutes to work with the product before it starts to kind of harden um, so if you're working with it and it does start to harden uh, just stop it'll start to clump up on you so don't don't keep going if it starts to harden um, and then I always recommend cleaning around the area and keeping your your repair area as clean and concise as possible so now well what I'm doing here is while the glass putty is setting up I like to go through and I, I will match my color and then prepare my coating um, and really you should have plenty of time you'll have about 30 minutes at least whenever the glass putty is setting up and you can let it set there for overnight you can let it set for however long so it's pretty much just give it a minimum of 30 minutes and then you're good to go so one thing that you're going to want to do when you're matching your color is you want to test uh, swatches and figure out which one is going to be your base color now a lot of times you're going to find that our gold white or our gray white are going to be probably the closest match uh, to your tub's color and then you're going to add either gloss white or almond uh, to lighten it or darken it so um, i always recommend just go through try to figure out which one's the closest um, and then start with about half an ounce of that base color um, and then try to work your way up to about one ounce of resin and, and see if you can hit the color by one ounce. And then my philosophy is, is if you can hit the color and you figure out about what colors it takes to match, uh, then you can go from one ounce and build that up to two ounces um, and you'll know pretty much how to get there. So that's what we recommend. Um, occasionally you will have to get into the gold and black dye that we include in the set, uh, but that's fairly rare. Um, so just watch our match our color matching videos if you ever have to do that the instructional video will show you how to do that so here I'm at I'm gonna go ahead and mix my coating so notice how uh, I don't use the paper cup to measure my product I actually use the glass jar for my sprayer to measure my product now the mix ratio says four parts resin one part catalyst two parts reducer that is the minimum ratio 
you can be over on the catalyst and the reducer but do not be under uh, because that can make your product too thick and it may may have issues spraying through the sprayer so um, at the four parts resin one part catalyst two parts reducer that's the minimum you can be over you could be as much as four parts resin two parts catalyst and three parts reducer um, and that's going to be fine it's just going to be a, a little bit thinner of a product so um, just keep that in mind as you're going through now notice here I only mixed up one ounce of resin uh, this the paint will go a long way so you don't have to mix up a ton uh, to get the job done now what I'm showing you there is I always pull off the filter cap on the preval um, I've just found that it's more prone to clog if you leave that filter cap on um, and then there's always a vent hole on these pre valves, and you always want that vent hole facing back towards you, uh, especially if you're fit, if you're spraying down, like on the floor or something, and you're tilting that bottle. That breathing hole, you want it facing back towards you upwards. Um, that way, it's not going to leak whenever you tilt that jar forward. Okay, so in that 30 minute time frame or so um, I've got my color matched I've got my coating mixed and it's setting off to the side now your coating has about a four hour pot life so don't stress over it if you're you know if you if you want to wait to match your color till the very end that is no trouble uh, just take your time on the project once you get the repair done and you're happy with it then you can focus solely on matching color um, so that's no trouble now what I did there was I sanded my glass putty with an 80 grit sandpaper and on that sand on the glass putty I'm not trying to make it perfect I'm not gonna it's not gonna get perfectly smooth so I'm really just trying to knock you know fill the hole and make it durable and then um, really just kind of start to get the shape there um, now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm preparing my finished putty and the finished putty is similar same ratio actually as the glass putty so 1 to 50 um, and it's going to react a little faster, so you'll probably have about 60 seconds to 90 seconds to work with this before it starts to set. Um, but what you're doing here is you're really just trying to get everything covered up um, so you can sand this smooth. This, this should sand smooth. Uh, the main thing you want to keep in mind when you're sanding this out is that if you can feel it, you'll be able to see it. So what you do is you give this glass putty about 15 minutes to set up once it's set and it feels dry not tacky or anything to the touch um, then you go through with 120 grit sandpaper and sand it and like I said if you can feel it you'll be able to see it so if you've got a lip on your edge and you spray it you'll be able to see that um, so what I'm doing here is I'm I just and you get the you get the hand sandpaper as well as the orbital sandpaper in your kit well this was in a corner it was kind of in an awkward spot for that orbital and for me to really get a good uh, finish on this I just felt like I needed to sand it with my hand uh, to really be sure that I got that shape that I needed so that's what I'm doing here it took about you know 10 minutes or so to really just kind of sand that down um, and take your time on this this is really where your project is made right here is if you sand it smooth get those edges feathered out knock out any dimples or anything in in the finish um, and really make this a smooth finish here uh, it'll it'll spray and it'll look good when you're done so always clean in between steps so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking the acetone included in the kit um, and I'm just cleaning it up um, before I move forward now what I'm doing is you've got a wipe on primer in your kit and it doesn't take a lot. You're really just trying to wet that surface and just get the primer all over it. Um, it doesn't have to be soaking wet because um, you actually want to wait for that to dry probably 20 or 30 seconds before you actually go spray. Now I'm actually just I'm fogging it on. So with the sprayer you're back about 12 inches or so um, and you're going to fog this coating on. You're not trying to cover this thing on one pass. Uh, you're going to plan for about three to five uh, coats to actually get this thing fully coated. And in between coats, you want to dry this thing for about 60 seconds. Um, especially if you're dealing with a, a vertical surface, you're going to be more at risk for dripping. Um, so take your time, dry it for about 60 seconds in between coats with a blow dryer, and then keep fogging it on and building it up. Um, you'll see as I build it up, it just starts to disappear, and that's what you want. 
So one thing after you get done spraying this is you want to give it 24 hours to cure uh, before you really do anything else to it. So after you give it 24 hours to cure, uh, you'll go back. We've got some finished sandpaper from 600 grit all the way up to 3000 grit. Uh, and you want to go back and you want to check the finish and sometimes what you'll find is around the area where you sprayed you might have some uh, overspray that's kind of built up and, and it's a little rough so basically all you do is you take your finished sandpaper and you wet sand that down and just work your way up to that 3000 grit um, and it's going to smooth that right out so um, just take your time on this, do the finishing touches there after 24 hours. After 24 hours, you're going to be good to use this tub again. So um, there you go. Matched great. Color matched. You know, we saved this guy's tub um, and it looked good and that's the thing. So save your tub, save your money, tubrepairstore.com.